Good evening and welcome to the Bam News. On today's controversy, we will discuss about many reasons why students drop out of class as well as ways the students were able to get themselves back on track. We also have a teacher's perspective as well as solution that they came up with to solve this issue. Now let's hear what the students from Albany High School has to say. I think that some students face the challenge of being bullied when they come to school or they just don't want to come to school because they're being bullied and they drop out. I have a lot of family issues um, internally and externally. Um, I don't have a job right now, so I'm kind of broke. I don't know how I'm going to pay my own rent at the end of this month. Um, some of the people I associate with are not really moving forward. They're not positive people, so I don't know if I want to... I, I can't surround myself around that because then it makes me negative. <clears throat> and it makes me not want to further my life, so... Bullying, not being able to afford school as well as friends who are negative does cause these students to drop out. Yes, that is quite true. That is why I believe we should have a community to help the students. I agree with you on that. Now we also have a feedback on students who are struggling in school and thought it was necessary. But once they realized school is important, they went back. Now let's look at them now. What was the reason why you dropped out of school? When I dropped out of high school was so I can help support my family. I just really didn't feel the need to go to school because I wasn't learning anything. When they told me I had to go to summer school, again, I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. I decided to like basically put school on hold and find a job. I found out that I was three months pregnant. I got kicked out because I caught a charge in school. Then I had some complications with a boyfriend, decided I wanted to be with him more than to actually go into school. What's my point for being here? Why should I listen to this teacher? What does this lesson have to do with my life? I got into a lot of fights in high school, and that led to me getting kicked out of work my freshman year. I was the oldest of seven at that time, so I had to help contribute for my family needs. Put my head down and go to sleep. I just didn't want to be in school. I was, not, I was that person that just did not want to go to school. Used to hate waking up in the morning to go to school and stuff like that. And actually, it was more stressful because I felt like I was going nowhere in my life. I would see all my friends, the school buses going by, they like they were doing something constructive with their day. I was just sitting home all day, and it was it gets a little depressing. I found help from um, a couple people. First, the first step was my counselor. I explained to him that I wanted to finish my education, and that you know I needed good money, I needed a good income, and we came to understanding that. I would have to get my GED to get a better income and not make, you know, a BS minimum wage. You might not fit in that box of going back to school. So there's alternative programs where you can get your diploma. I was definitely hesitant because I saw it as the GED isn't worth it. I want my diploma. My girlfriend brought me here, told me about the place, I talked to the counselors, and I seen that everybody was very cool in this building. So. I mean, why not? What, what else is going to happen? I went to the GED school. Getting back in school again, it helped me because I met other people who were like me. Um, I had a couple of friends who had kids themselves and who faced the same problems as me. If you need it's here, it's more of like a, it's kind of like a family environment because everybody helps each other. You know, if someone's having trouble, someone who knows how to do it will come and help you. I was with kids that are just like me that don't like school, that quit, that want to do better for themselves. I do want to learn this stuff because all this stuff is going to apply to stuff that I might want to be working on in the future, like construction or graphic design, you know. Even when you make beats, you got to use numbers. If you have a talent and a skill, you know, and a discipline that, you know, you actually be in demand. I just wanted to be in demand. I wanted to be, I wanted to feel important about what I'm doing and I wanted people to look at me as if I was important. So I said, I'm going to go back to school because everyone who I've seen who had that, they all had a degree. I don't want to be doing something that I'm not interested in. I'm not, I don't want to go to work knowing that I'm not comfortable working there. I want to go to work knowing that you know, I'm going to help people out today and I'm going to go home happy. Students deal with, did I mess up too bad? Is it too late for me? I think once they understand that, listen, there is a pathway, there is, there is still a chance, you still do have a chance. Listen, I did it. Um, honestly, I was there and you can get out of it. And I think for lots of times that's like their wake up moment. Like, 
just just to kind of hear it from someone else. I did feel like when I had my daughter that that was all gone, and they showed me you can still do it. There's still it's harder. Don't get me wrong, but it's still possible. School isn't for everybody, but you do have to do something like. Don't let your friends be more important than your education because in the long run, your friends aren't the one that's going to support you. They're not going to give you money for the rest of your life and they're not going to get you a job. You need to do it yourself. Just don't give up on yourself. After you're done doing what you need to, go back to school, get a GED, get a diploma if you can. Just do it. It makes your life so much better and it's going to be worth it. Wow. I think those students gave a good advice to students out there. I know through their experience, they were able to fool through. They made me want to go back to school. I second that. Now we look at what the student have to say. Let's also look at what teacher think is the reason why students draw and where some of them think it should be resolved. Yes. Let's first look at what Mr. Krosky from Woodson High School has to say. The reasons are. Mr. Kwaski, what do you think the reason are why these students drop out? They drop out of school uh, for several reasons. Uh, one, they find that school is hard. Um, they also find that um, it takes a lot of work. And uh, the other thing is that they feel that it's, it's not necessarily a cool thing to be educated. Um, our community does not really emphasize education, and not just here in the Virgin Islands, but I feel America as a whole with what we do with media. We don't, through the media, we are not emphasizing education. You might hear a little message about education every now and then, but as a whole, we do not um, uh, really push education. We push Now, do you agree with that, Apple? That school are not enforcing education as much as we used to? Yes, our society does have something to do with school influence as well as life in general. That's why we have here Mr. Shorthouse show steps of how to prevent students from dropping out of school. Many people consider dropouts to be the biggest education problem we have, and it probably is, but the great thing about it is it's a problem with a solution because when teachers and parents and the community join forces and empower our kids, great things can happen and they can succeed in school and achieve in life. The first thing we have to do is identify by name these children who are in danger of dropping out of school. Teachers, principals, counselors, and even parents know that their kids aren't doing that well. So we've got to name them and then begin to work with them. The next thing we've got to do is figure out why these kids aren't being successful. A lot of barriers come into kids' lives and we've got to deal with them. Sometimes teachers just don't make that connection with kids. Sometimes kids are getting in trouble and they're spending more time in trouble than they are working on school. There are home and family problems. There's a variety of things that prevent kids from learning. But most of our people when you begin to talk to them, if they work on the barriers, they can identify them and then overcome them. We've got to set goals. But we can't set them by ourselves. We've got to get these kids to set goals too. We've got to let them dream about what they can be. Together, parents, kids, and teachers again, working to set the goals so kids know something they can strive for. The most important thing in anybody's life is somebody who cares about them. And kids need caring adults. They need parents, but they need other people caring about them too, especially teachers. But there's even people outside the school that can be part of this. Kids need to know that people care about them and are really encouraging them to be successful. Motivation is the key to success in life. People have to be motivated to do what they want to get done, otherwise they're not going to do it and they're going to fail. So we need to have rewards and incentives, but also we need to get the kids to be a part of this. They need to know what they're learning and feel like they can learn and grow with it. We've got to get the parents behind it again. So it's this triangle, parents, student, and teachers coming together to motivate children for learning. It's about change. And if we don't have change, we don't have a solution. But we've got to monitor for this change too. We've got to keep score. We've got to know what's going on. 
If we're going to affect academic and behavioral results, we've got to make sure we know what our children are doing and making sure they're moving towards that motivated goal that they identified. This is about keeping score. We've got to evaluate the results to make sure we know we made progress. Because without knowledge of our progress, we're going to be right back to where we started again. Educators believe in evaluation. We've got to have the parents involved in this evaluation. And the kids themselves, they've got to see that they've really made progress. That will stimulate to even do better. We can solve our dropout problems, especially when we work together as a community. Parents, students, teachers, all coming together, all owning the solution, all investing in it, and all convinced that we can be successful. What a nice strategy to help these students as well as students out there. Yes, indeed. Now, before we say goodbye, we give you a small clip from John Achen, encouragement to all students out there. Well, folks, that's all for today. Thank you for watching the bad news. And we hope that you all have a good evening. Until next time.